Great. Okay, so we're recording and we'll get started. Welcome everybody to this month's um, community call. I guess it's kind of like the end of summer as it's literally uh, September, right? Today? No, tomorrow. Tomorrow is September. Um, so I guess we're wrapping up our last month of summer. I think it's generally been like a slower month in general. A lot of people take taking vacation, but um, we'll see what updates we have. I'm sure there's plenty. So um, we're going to change up the agenda a little bit today um, versus what we usually do as we have a couple larger, more kind of like organizational updates um, from uh, Cloudhead, LA, and Finton. Um, so we're going to move um, that to the end of the call and kind of spend like the last whatever time we have um, to kind of like discuss what those organizational changes are. Um, and uh, we'll start with uh, the core teams who um, have some just like regular monthly updates. So um, we'll go through those. We've had some different changes in core teams as well. So I'll try to remember uh, everybody who's supposed to speak. But so I was thinking that today, since we usually start with Link, we won't be starting with Link today. I was thinking that we could start with alt clients potentially. Um, Cloudhead, if you're sure. ready to give your update, and then we can keep going from there. Uh, yes. One second. Um, I know it's usually Link that goes first, so now it's all it's all messed up. But it's all messed up. All right. Um, Okie doke. Uh, let me move this window around. Uh, okay. Hold on. All right, so keeping everyone on their toes, yeah, definitely. Uh, okay, so allow. Allow is not allowing. Um, one second. What is going on? Yeah, this is like, since we're using Google. Can't share your screen. You must grant permission. Oh, what? Uh, block this temporarily. Is, this is a note for everybody who uh, might need to add permissions for their browser to share with Google Meets. I don't know if it changes for like Jitsi versus Google, but maybe see that. Okay, I think this time it worked. All right, great. Um, yep. OK. so. Um, I will dive right into it. Um, so, uh, as Ivy said, we we have some some like organizational announcements for later. Uh, some of which I'll do, but for for now, I'm going to talk mainly about um, what we've been working on within the team um, in broad categories. So, I'm going to start with web. Uh, so. Um, well, I'm working on and, and about to work on, but um, one of the the main themes um, I think for the for the next um, month is going to be uh, packaging the web interface um, such that end users can run it without third parties. Third parties being us. So um, yeah, just imagine a, a, a browser tab on your browser that has uh, the radical interface running and that you can kind of use locally. Um, and not needing to go on app.radical.xyz. Um, so that's one thing that we've started working on. Um, things we have done this month, um, a, a lot of work on performance, actually, because things started to get slow. And, and this was actually more to do with the HTTP API. But um, anyway, there, there's um, it, it started to get a lot of projects and data, and, and we weren't paginating. So things were starting to take forever. And so now we've. Um, started to improve that. Um, uh, there is also a new home page that is still a work in progress, but we're we're kind of getting rid of orgs and 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 users and stuff like that until we have uh, a new product around that. And so right now we're just kind of showing some projects that uh, we've pinned. Um, if you have more project suggestions to put on the front page, let me know. Um, we can add them. There's just like six right now or something, and it's a little bit bare. Um, anyway, that's on the web. We've also done a lot of like refactorings and things like that, but I'm not going to talk about those. On the CLI, um, there's been a bunch of work on in installation, distribution, all that stuff, because we got a lot of uh, user feedback. 
Um, and there's uh, also been work on RAD auth um, to uh, have more ways to log in, essentially, for people who don't have SSH agent or um, for scripting and things like that. Um, so um, uh, that, that's that's been in progress. There's a RAD up uh, design um, that has been proposed that will basically allow for a um, one-liner install on most operating systems. Um, so this is for people who don't mind, you know, a custom install process um, uh, and uh, just want to get set up quickly and, and have things running. Um, so it's it's called Rattle because it's kind of using the same uh, term as Rust up, uh, and and there's there's a few other projects that uh, opted for this design. Um, we'll we'll see how that goes, but um, yeah, that's in progress. Um, then on the seed front, the big thing is that we're working on a new peer to peer node, and that's something that I will talk about more afterwards. But um, uh, we are also uh, having better telemetry. Um, and uh, as I said, a bunch of updates on performance, uh, pagination, and other things um, on the HTTP API to have uh, better web experience, basically. Um, and then on the protocol, so this is kind of new, um, and we're going to talk about this more. But um, yeah, uh, there's there's been some some uh, there's an opportunity essentially to start to to rethink. Uh, aspects of the, the core networking protocol as well as identity protocol and storage. And so there's um, some write-ups that we've made, um, uh, and including collaborations with the link team. Uh, and there's two design documents which uh, will be published fairly soon um, on the, um, well, they're, they're already, um, probably you can find them on, on Discord, but they will be published on the forums also. Um, and then marketing-wise, um, important notice is that we've moved everything to Radical XYZ. Um, you'll see there's some things missing um, that have, been port have not been ported over, and, and that will be ported over um, eventually. But um, yeah, so now no more Radical Network, even though it still works, um, use Radical XYZ everywhere and app.radicalxyz for the, the web app. And, and, and now we just have one website, and, and everyone is happy. Um, then. Um, other small announcement personnel changes. Uh, so Rudolph's, um, I, don't, I wasn't here last month, so maybe this was announced already, but Rudolph's is going to be joining uh, part time uh, on the team and working mainly on the web interface. Um, so that's great. Happy to have you here. Um, and then, um, oh yeah, no, this is this is for after actually. Uh, cool. So I think that's 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 it uh, for for the Out clients uh, presentation, and I will talk about the rest afterwards. Thanks. Cool. Any questions for Cloudhead um, regarding what he spoke about? I think, obviously, questions with regards to things that will be discussed at the end of the call can be paused and pinned for the later in the call. But any questions regarding what was just discussed now? No? Um, cool. Thanks, Cloudhead. Um, and the new website is really great. I would look at everybody uh, take a second to check it out. It's nice. Yeah, there's like there's like this this massive comparison table, which was Ellie's idea, and I think it's it's pretty cool. But if there's any like copy feedback on that, because it I like I basically just wrote it and published it. I didn't really get any feedback on it. So if there's stuff that you disagree with, um, let me know. Where should people share their feedback with regards to that? Um, maybe just on on the outlines. Just tag me. I just mention me wherever you send it on this. Like either under the marketing channel or under the outlines channel, I guess. Cool. Awesome. Thank you, alt clients. Um, so next, I was thinking that we'd pass it off to Growth um, Nassar. If you want to um, jump ahead and give us your update. Oh, um, didn't realize the order switched switched up. Yeah, I know we switched up. I don't know if you heard at the beginning, but we have like uh, other updates to do at the end, so we're switching it up. I can go if you don't want to do it no, now. Uh, I'm, I'm good. Yeah, no, I'll keep the the growth update quite short this time. Um, yeah, we've we've been re spending a lot of the month uh, reconfiguring as kind of drips and the funding and the code collab uh, teams and the link team 
have all been adjusting their strategy. So that's been, yeah, it's been a month of basically trying to get uh, an understanding of how those changes are happening and uh, and kind of how they impact growth. Um, so yeah, you know, you can go into the update and kind of see the main things we've been working on in terms of um, supporting trips, uh, in terms of understanding who we want to target and and what the proposition is going to be with them as as the strategy changes. Um, and then on the code collab side, we've uh, yeah, been working with the product working group and and uh, getting getting kind of basically uh, the the material material ready to to go out to the force community and and really start uh, testing out the, the the new kind of focused proposition and pitch to them to kind of uh, test out and improve out that segment and the positioning to them. Um, and then the other thing we've been working on is is this cohort program, which is which is which is basically. I mean, we haven't spoken much about this yet, and it's it's gonna you know we're hoping to have the strategy ready and and shared with the community before we we implement it. But yeah, there's a team that's working on um, building out a cohort program that kind of onboards builders into the radical uh, uh, ecosystem and kind of mission aligned teams, and ideally also building on 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 our protocols. Um, and uh, yeah, this this is it seems to be a strategy that's becoming more and more popular in the space. Um, as perhaps it's because of the fact that uh, we need uh, more entrepreneurial talent uh, uh, in these ecosystems, and, and and these cohort programs are pretty good at doing that. Um, so yeah, we're, we're building that out, hoping to share more on that uh, next month. We've kind of been a little bit slow down on that uh, as uh, as the different teams have changed strategy because it's kind of made us evaluate whether the, the personas we're targeting and the people we're focusing that program on. Uh, and how we're we going to support them are the right ones, and so we're just uh, yeah we're assessing that this this week and next week hopefully and getting clear on that. Um, but yeah, hopefully share more on that next month. And then the DevRel team is now kind of fully up and running. Um, they've been producing some content. Um, uh, this month has kind of been also kind of slowed down a little bit by by uh, you know getting access to key channels, but uh, those are all in place now. And so yeah, we should hopefully. Uh, next month, start seeing the output of all of that work they're doing, uh, and then finally, the marketing team side. Yeah, we, we've we largely, I think, um, you know, one of our objectives on the growth side was to kind of support the setup of that team and kind of onboarding contributors. Um, I think the collection of contributors are looking pretty strong now, and and I think that the, the you know top of funnel and driving awareness of the radical project should start spinning um uh, now that kind of that team is in place i think you know there's a few more pieces around getting alignment on vision and, and mission that, that i believe that abby and tom are working on um but yeah once those things are in place in the chat and we've got access to the channels i think that uh, we should that machine should start rolling uh, pretty pretty effectively i'm really i think i'm really i've just talked to abby about it kind of quite happy with the people on 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 that team and so i, I think uh, stuff we'll see produced uh, will be pretty sweet um but yeah that's uh that's that's the overview of summary it's uh any questions no nope. uh, with, with regards to the cohort program like uh, are you guys keeping any like public kind of um kind of space where we can kind of see the stuff that's happening with the cohort program or i feel like you shared it once but i'm not sure if it's like publicly available or if it's just available for like the teams like the product teams yeah it's uh, it's definitely a public link it's not been shared widely um and mm -hmm. i guess because we're reconfiguring things right now i kind of feel like i'd, I'd want to just reconfigure that and then share it um but uh but yeah there, there'll be okay. a public space for it for everyone to see it in the next few weeks nice yeah cool um, the the marketing team is it is it new people people who've been around already? Um, yeah. So as in, so uh, you know, obviously Tom is leading on it. Uh, Maddie, who's been introduced, uh, has been building out the podcast. He's done like five already. Um, okay. Andrew, who's joined as a product marketer, I believe he spoke to your team. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, Ett Ettinger, um, I think his name is on Discord. Um, and and then I guess there's uh yeah I think, I think that and it's going to be a content is going to be like blog posts or yeah it's gonna it's gonna be blog but there's also I guess the dev also that's going to contribute to the content but uh, yeah it'll be blog posts uh, there's social media that's uh, coming coming along from the person that so I'll be onboarded and then 
there's going to be product marketing, which is going to be like uh, videos and, and blog posts uh, and I guess uh, social threads. And then, you know, the podcast, I guess, is, is, is a podcast. Cool. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Is, it gonna, is there going to be like technical posts or most mostly product or like, are you going to? Mm. Yeah, I think I think at the moment, most of it's quite high level product and like okay. uh, and, and kind of promoting the radical kind of uh, mission and vision and, and kind of the, the I think the DevRel side is like just starting off. I think they've got a bunch to like dive into and understand. Um, and uh, once once, uh, you know, they're up and running and I guess the, the product and the and the and the protocol SDK and stuff are a bit, a bit more stable. I think that's when we will start diving into more technical stuff. And that should come from maybe more either the DevRel side or uh, I guess guest posts from particular okay. team members. Gotcha. Yeah. Thanks. Anything else? Cool. Says everyone. Cool. Thanks, Nas. Awesome. So um, we will pass it along to Drips now to give a update as well. I don't know who's presenting from the Drip side. Awesome. Thanks, Abby. Yeah, I'll I'll present uh, for Drips. I think Ellie's going to give an update about the team later, but um, I'll give the usual. Kind of, kind of discussion of, of what we've been working on. So, um, uh, apologies, I actually don't have a, a discourse post yet this month, but I will put one together um, after the after the call. Um, so, just off the cuff, um, we've essentially been working on uh, trying to. Well, just to remind everyone where we're at, we are in this kind of iterative release of Drips v zero point two. So, we've been um, live with a version on the Gurley testnet for. Um, I think a little more than a month now. Uh, that's been going really well. We've actually pushed three different releases now as we've fixed different little bugs and issues and actually added in a few sort of last features that we wanted to, to squeeze in. And I think um, it's really starting to stabilize. So, um, you know, we're, we're discussing when to, to think about doing a mainnet release, but I think we're getting quite a bit closer to that. I would say it could come within the next month. Um, uh, yeah, like without going into too much detail, um, I think we've added the the features we've added kind of bring us to to um, what we keep sort of saying we're feature complete, and then we keep seeing other nice features that, that we want to add, which really are quite powerful. So it's not just, um, but I think we really are coming to the kind of the end of our feature pipeline of things that we've been interested. Igor got um, included uh, squeezing drips this month, which is a really important one that allows allows folks to withdraw funds from drips like up to the second, um, which was which is really important. Um, and I think the, the last thing that we're considering is batching, which would allow um, batching of a number of, of different operations into one transaction. That might be something outside of the core protocol. Um, but I think every other feature is in. So And, and batching is pretty well understood as well. So we're, we're very close to really having all of the features. Um, we've been testing with a lot of the features for a month. and. Um, we also have some of the kind of surrounding pieces starting to really stabilize. Um, Yanis has done great work on the SDK, which is um, really now very, very mature compared to the first version that I wrote, um, what now feels like a long time ago. Um, he's got a really um, incredible example app that maybe we can do a demo of in a future month, because um, I think it's just so neat. It's got a great kind of like DOS style aesthetic that I feel really like matches a lot of the kind of hacker vibes. Um, so yeah, and we're hoping to actually publish a version of that somewhere that people can just like jump on the web and play with as well. That might be something coming soon. So um, yeah, the subgraphs are going to stabilize as well. We've got a few more little bugs to work out, but it's um, it's it's getting quite powerful and robust compared to the first version. So um, I, I guess the last piece to mention is just we are um, we are continuing some initial work on security audits. It's really important um, as we go to mainnet. Uh, obviously, the work on that will just continue, but we want to make sure that we have sort of a baseline before we before we push to to mainnet. Um, so, yeah, I, I think that's that's kind of the overall update. Lots of stuff happening. I guess I'll also mention we've been doing some kind of interesting investigation into um, into sort of social identity and trust anchoring that we that we had looked into in the past. We were talking with the Gitcoin Passport team, who are doing some really neat stuff. Um, Around how to how to allow users to manage identity and own identity in Web three. So I think we think that there could be some really nice connections with Drips. So maybe more to come on that um, in the future. 
but uh yeah i think that's i think that's that's kind of it overall so so um yep be on the lookout for a v02 mainnet release uh pretty soon and also as usual happy to answer any questions any questions for drips Actually, one thing is is the is the contract really v zero point two because that seems kind of unsafe. Yeah, I mean, uh, I think um, that's that's how we're kind of I guess describing it. Um, and yeah, I, I think just want to call it v two. I I mean I, I guess that <laughs> I I don't know I mean I think everyone should I mean I don't want to. I think everyone should consider it very experimental. I mean, we haven't we, okay. we've done some security audit work, but um, I think that we're going to be doing more. And um, yeah, I, I you know I think people should. I, I mean, we've we put a lot of work into this. It's well engineered. At the same time, you know, these contracts can have issues. So I think that's how we've decided to brand it. I think maybe we should. This is a good um, a good kind of indication that we should maybe have more of a conversation around this. We, we've sort of alternated between v2 and v0.2. I think wanting to kind of hint at the fact that people should treat it as like a beta, um, but also that it has evolved beyond the first version. So um, yeah, maybe this would be a good discussion for the team to have. Cool. Any, any other questions? Uh, my only question is if you are going to plan on posting a written update. Um, after the call, or is that still in the cards? Or are you just not going to submit one? This yeah, I, I I will. Sorry, I just didn't get to cool. it. Um, yeah, no problem at all. So just wanted to check. Yeah, totally. Cool. Anybody else? All right. Thank you, Drips. For sure. Thanks, Abby. Cool. So um, that's, I think, the last of the core team updates. I know that um, Kai is probably going to have some, uh, I mean, I'm going to do one, but uh, obviously, but I think um, Kai, who's now working on the new product research group, um, will probably be doing an update next month and starting to continue an update on uh, his work as well. But we decided that um, this month was like a little bit too soon. Um, so I'll close out the core team updates with the community and governance update, and then I'll pass it off to Alexi, Fintan, and LA to talk through some of the organizational changes that have been made over the last month. Does that sound good? Um, and then, oh, also Boredom can give a grants update right after my community update. Um, I think that sounds good. Ping in the chat if there's something else that people want to talk about before um, we end. So I'm going to share my screen. and. Find my update. Oh my gosh, I have too many uh, tabs open right now. Can everybody see my post? Can you say audibly because I can't hear you? Yes. Great. Um, okay, cool. So, August, I was on vacation for a little bit of August in the beginning, but there's still a ton of stuff that happened um, in the community and governance sectors. Um, so community, uh, I wanted to give a couple updates. Um, there was a, uh, some radicals over the last month have uh, decided that we're attending DevCon in Bogota. We're not doing an offsite. Um, we're just attending uh, due to kind of like lack of capacity for being able to plan something. Um, I feel like that there's still going to be a contributor offsite in the on the horizon over the next six months, but it definitely won't be in Bogota. Um, but there will be a couple of us attending. So if you're planning on attending, let us know. Um, we've made a new hire, um, which I don't want to talk about yet until we get the contract signed. Um, but there's more to come on that, which is really exciting. So we'll have someone joining us over the next couple of months as well, which is great um, and will be really helpful <laughs> as well. Um, Another note is that Joel um, has uh, was taking off, uh, taking some time off, and is actually now going to start contributing again to help us continue building out our docs. So we're currently scoping a couple of deliverables. So you'll be seeing him um, in the chats a little bit more, which I'm really excited about. Joel, if you're on the call, very excited to have you back. Um, and we're also going to be sponsoring ETH Berlin. 
uh, during Berlin Blockchain Week, which is coming up in two weeks. Um, we haven't made a big fuss over this because we've been <laughs> super busy with like other things, um, but we'll be throwing an event and we have a big Berlin base. Um, and so if you're attending or want to attend, just like reach out to me and um, we can talk about it. But um, if people want to hop over for the week, could be a fun time to just get some team hangs, um, but we'll just be doing like some casual, casual events um, around around the city. It, we thought it was going to be bigger than it was, um, but it seems like it's just going to be a little bit smaller scale and but like a good time regardless. So that's coming up in two weeks. I think it was like September fourteenth through September, like through that weekend. So um, that's that. So really, the main updates uh, are with regards to governance. Um, so we actually have two big governance proposals that are making their way um, through our governance right now. So the first one is the phase zero of our transition to the DAO. Um, this just passed formal review on Monday, uh, meaning it passed a snapshot vote. Um, and so for anybody who doesn't know, this proposal is basically what we're calling like phase zero of our transition to the DAO, which transitions our development runway, R as in core teams. Um, trans, uh, transitions our development runway and contributor token rewards to the DAO. So it basically requests 3 million USDC to fund the next six months of core teams operational budget budgets, including like event sponsorships, some buffer, you know, foundation operational costs as well. But mainly the chunk of that development is uh, core team runway um, and actually 1.9 million rad to distribute among uh, radical contributors who join the project post token launch. Lots more details in this post, and it definitely affects like most <laughs> core contributors um, as it directly relates to contributor incentives. Um, and so I would definitely take a look at this proposal. Um, it already passed a snapshot, and it will be going up for an on-chain vote probably today or tomorrow. Um, so for those um, who participate in voting, we're going to be really looking to you to um, kind of review this proposal and form an opinion on it and vote. So. That's very exciting and like a very cool first step um, with regards to our transition. The second one is the Radical Gitcoin Public Goods Alliance, um, which actually passed its on-chain proposal, I think it was like last week. Um, also super exciting, so this proposal basically formed a public goods alliance between Radical and Gitcoin, um, which uh, is instantiated by a mutual grant of our respective tokens, RAD and GTC, um, to each other's treasuries. Um, and so basically the voting power of these tokens is delegated to multisigs that are controlled by the other's DAO. Um, and so basically it makes Radical one of the top 10 delegates in Gitcoin's governance and Gitcoin one of the top 10 delegates in RAD's governance, which is super cool. Um, it's passed on our end and it's going to the last stage of Gitcoin's governance soon, I think like this week or next week. Once it passes, we're going to be making like a big fuss about it um and sharing it with the community obviously beyond this call um but it was like a really really awesome partnership and we're really excited to see it happening um and hopefully a lot of really fun exciting new opportunities and partnerships will spur from it so that's really cool um with regards to the transition as a whole beyond kind of this phase zero proposal that we put together i wanted to everybody highlight that there's a ton of work happening right now um, so to make it easier to kind of like navigate through our discourse, we have this new transition to the DAO category on discourse where you can see all the forum posts. And Matt just did an awesome job of organizing all the forum posts that we have into like a really digestible form. Um, and so he'll uh, be keeping that updated. Well, we will be keeping that updated as we continue to um, and move these workshops forward. So the latest updates in the org design work stream um, is that we kind of did these uh, funding core teams principle and criteria, I guess you could call them exercises, um, part one and part two, where we discuss um, technical principles and organizational principles of the project, um, and then propose a set of criteria that can be uh, used, uh, employed to make funding decisions within this MVDAO that we're describing. Um, I think I still have to do kind of like the discussion session for the criteria, which I'll be scheduling this week. Um, but this will be followed up by um, a kind of more, I guess you could say, coherent post that kind of outlines um, like really what the next steps are for the org design 
work stream over the next six months and what that means for our contributors and our core teams. Um, but lots of stuff happening here. So um, Angie will be uh, uh, taking a little bit of time off. So it'll be Louie and I kind of um, keeping this stuff moving forward just for reference to not annoy Angie about this stuff over the next <laughs> coming weeks. Uh, annoy us instead. <laughs> um, with regards to the Dow Tooling work stream, Shelby has also been taking some time off. She's actually back in the saddle next week, which is super exciting, um, which will be really great. So we can have, um, yeah, we've been missing Shelby a little bit, so it'll be great to have her back. Uh, the distribution of ownership work stream is also moving forward because basically the phase zero of the um, this work stream is basically being covered in the phase zero transition to the Dow proposal. Um, for those remembering, the first phase of the distribution of ownership workstream is to design and propose a strategy to the DAO for incentivizing current contributors, which we're doing with the 1.9 million RAD that we are proposing to allocate to current contributors. And then finally, we have the distribution of influence workstream. Me, Boredom, and the Otter Space team, who is actually a radical grantee, they've been um, doing some awesome work um, that maybe you can see in the grants category on discourse. Uh, we're working on a kickoff proposal uh, for this work stream, um, hopefully shipping it you know, within the next week or two, um, which is uh, kind of like an exciting proposal for how we can start tackling this work stream together. So stay tuned for that. That's all I have. I probably am forgetting a couple of things, but um, lots of really exciting things happening in Dow land. So um, if you have any questions, I see a raised hand and maybe some comments. I definitely can't see your hands raised and the messages. Wow, okay, I just saw all of these messages. Okay, um, so who wants to go first? Alex, uh, Cloudhead, you have a raised no, hand? It was, it, was, it was raised from the, because uh, we couldn't see your screen, but it's okay. Oh, okay, so you couldn't see my screen that whole time? <laughs> yeah. Great. Okay, well, I talked through the link that Louis just shared, so. Yeah, it did not seem uh, necessary. It's all good. Yes, it did not seem necessary. Any questions regarding all of those exciting things? OK, cool. Then I will pass it off to Boredom. They're on the call to give a couple minute update about Grants 2.0. But I don't know if they're on the call. Hmm. Maybe they messed up the timing. So I'll ping them. Um, and maybe if we have time at the end, uh, they can give the update. I know that they asked that they wanted to give a couple minute update. So I guess we'll just wait to see if they join later. And then we can let them take the floor at the end. But um, to keep it moving, I think that now that we've covered all the core team updates, we can move on to um, Finjin uh, and Alexi to talk about some of the org restructuring happening with Link and all clients. So I'll let you guys take the floor. Well, do you want to start it off, Finjin? Yeah, I'll present a like short update um, for um, the Link team and can pass it over. OK. Um, so last month mentioned rabbit hole research, um, which put a kind of a slowdown on actual development. But um, I've linked some kind of maintenance code and some extra testing that uh, we've been working on, on the code base. But the big changes are around team changes. Um, so I'm sad to say that Alex Good will no longer be working full time on Radical anymore. But I am glad to say that he's off to Ink and Switch to be the lead maintainer on AutoMerge. Um, so he's going to be working on some exciting stuff there. He said he'll still be around in an open source fashion in discussions and possibly some review. Um, and we obviously still plan on using auto merge for collaborative objects. So now we have a person on the inside. Um, I'm also pleased to announce that we have a couple of new additions, um, Han and Jorge. Um, 
so they've already started uh, to get stuck in on like research and code. Um, a couple of those fixes above and the integration testing is coming from Han. Um, so yeah, going forward, uh, as Alexi mentioned, there's been some more rethinking and researching into protocol design and identity management. And on that note, I can hand it back to Alexi. Cool. Thanks, Vinto. Uh, so, um, right. Where this comes in now, but it's not letting me do it. Okay. It's very weird. Same same problem again. Where it's like not. Okay. There we go. I think. Yep. Okay. So what 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 does this mean? Well, um, we had a chat amongst everyone and. We basically decided that um, it didn't make sense anymore to have a separate link team with Alex gone um, and also Kim gone since since a few months now. But um, and so um, we agreed that uh, the link team uh, would be joining the Alkynes team to have one big mega team. Um, so that's that's kind of cool. Uh, for some reasons, and not cool for others, um, but mainly it's cool. And and the the, the good thing about it is that um, hopefully we'll, we'll have a lot more alignments between protocol and product. Um, and uh, yeah, and um, with that said, uh, the Alt clients team will finally now simply be known as the clients team as well. Um, <laughs> yeah, which is mainly mainly a. Uh, uh, a rename uh, um, based on on upstream uh, uh, on, on upstream um, being phased out, but I think it's also kind of a good time to uh, to to make this this rename because um, people were getting confused and, and and really aggressive about the the channel name. So uh, pleased to say that's all going to be renamed. Um, now um, on the uh, <laughs> yeah, Brennan is really happy about it. Um, one of the um, things, as as mentioned earlier, is that with this, um, with Alex leaving, but also after some some talks in Paris, um, irrespective of, of Alex, um, we thought it would be a good opportunity to um, rethink some of the protocol design, um, and we kind of went down a, a rabbit hole, as Fintan said, and uh, ended up kind of like rethinking everything. Um, and um, uh, that's that's kind of led to us um, working on a completely new design that, on the surface, is going to be more or less similar um, from a from a UX perspective. It's going to be better in, in a lot of ways, but under under the hood, it's going to be quite different. Um, and um, yeah, and so we've been working on this for the last month or so um, in the the. The link team has been um, contributing a lot of, of new uh, design insights in terms of the architecture, and our team has been working on the um, uh, implementation, uh, a proof of concept. And um, yeah, I think mainly this. So this th this new kind of stack or protocol stack is um, for now mainly going to be um, me, Slack coder, Fintan, Jorge, and Han working on different aspects of it. Um, the former link team is mainly going to be working on the Git side of things and maybe some stuff around DIDs and identities. Um, and the former ad client side of things is mainly going to be working on networking and uh, um, probably also some, some Git and identity stuff. Um, but yeah, that's, that's kind of the big change. So the, there's only going to be one team. Uh, um, doing that sort of thing. And, and so that you can think of the whole, I mean, maybe I'll pass it on to, to Ellie for this, but um, uh, you can kind of think of, of the engineering org as kind of now funding and code collab, sort of, or like clients and funding, um, however you want to see it. 
Um, but yeah, maybe Ellie, do you want to talk a little bit about that? Sure. Um, yeah, do you want to stop sharing so I can share my screen? Sure. Cool. Let me do this. Oops. Sorry, permission stuff. Oh, yeah, I also have like um, a, a text that I'm going to be publishing on the forum that goes into a little bit more detail on on the, the what's behind these changes and what you can expect. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Cool. Is it big enough, or should I zoom in more? It's fine. Okay. Cool. So uh, yeah. So hey, for me, uh, good to see you all. Um, more organizational changes. Um, putting things in perspective, Radical has always been two things, right? On the one side, the sovereign code infrastructure, the peer-to-peer -peer network, and then on the other side, uh, the Ethereum side of things. And specifically, what we always wanted and were trying to do is to create new value flows for developers to sustain their force, their force work. Uh, so, um, over the last year, actually last summer, uh, we started the Drips Protocol team. And the mission of the Drips Protocol team was effectively to develop all those protocols we needed um, in order to be able to develop experiences within Radical to fund, to fund developers. Some of the core ideas that led to the design of, of the Drips Protocol was, you know, at first that a lot of developers preferred a caring funding versus one-off or speculative one-off you know, type of funding. Uh, so that's where you saw the, the the streaming side of things being developed within 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 trips. Uh, the the second thing that um, uh, we we realized that of course the developers want to use a, a, a new sovereign infrastructure and they want to split funds within contributors dependencies. That's where the splitting side of things uh, uh, came. And then of course um, we also realized that the funding model that many developers have within within Web two today. Is this many to one, right? Like basically one of the project, thousands or millions of developers. And that's why the flavor of streaming that we actually end up developing was really optimized for that. So that's where the Drips protocol um, started. Um, and um, today, like you hear the Andrews update, uh, we actually finally think that we are feature complete, um, which is very, very exciting for us, uh, which means that the V2 or V0.2 open discussion there. Uh, so we, we're really close to sit that. Um, and effectively, what that means is that for the first time in a year, we have all the pieces we need to now start developing experiences, um, uh, the experience that we wanted um, within Radical to fund to fund, to fund first developers. So moving forward, um, and I published a post that you can see on the screen I'm sharing about that. But moving forward, um, we will be making a few changes. Uh, the biggest change is that uh, the Drips team and the Workstreams team now will be one team, similar vein of consolidation. Uh, so we're calling this new, uh, this new team Radical Funding. Um, and effectively, um, what will this team do is this uh, MVP section uh, under my post. Effectively, you know, we're still brainstorming on the, on the concrete idea, but the leading idea we have at the moment is to develop an experience within uh, app to graduate XYZ uh, that allows A, anyone to fund any open source project or developer in Radical effortlessly, uh, one of or getting payments using the Drips protocol. Uh, so that's the one side of it, the simpler side of it. And then the second side of it, which is very exciting, also we want to enable any project or developer to programmatically and transparently uh, fund, move funds basically to their own dependencies or contributors. Um, and this is something that we actually um, discovered during the Drips v0.1 release. Uh, if you still go on the v0.1 uh, app, you will see that we have there the Solidity language team actually splitting 100% of the funds that they were getting with some of their dependencies. Uh, and we have the Ethers.js team doing something similar, the Build Guild team doing something similar. And that's one of the ideas that stayed with us for a while. Uh, when, we, when we work with those teams to set up their splits configuration, they were all super excited about spreading the load with their dependencies and having a tool that does this. But actually, when we did work with them, uh, they were kind of frustrated that they had to do this manually. 
So effectively, what they had to do is like reach out uh, and say, hey, you know, dependency X, do you have an Ethereum address? Great, can you pass it on? Great, then set up your split configuration. So, so what we what we want to do now within within the radical client is actually try to automate that process, um, and we will see how far we'll go with that. It's actually a very very hard problem. Um, uh, it's a problem of trust uh, in, in in many ways, uh, but there are a few ideas that we have there. Uh, but effectively, we want to develop this super simple functionality that allows anyone to fund any open source project or developer, and then. The more complicated part is allow these different projects or developers to programmatically, in you know, with a few clicks, ideally specify their dependencies and then stream funds to those. Uh, so that's 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 the that's the MVP we have in mind. Um, uh, with regards to actual technologies and code bases, so uh, the team, this new radical funding team, will be maintaining, of course, the drip smart contracts uh, and. The two smart contracts remain general purpose. We develop them as general purpose and will remain general purpose because from the beginning we thought that there are more, more creators out there that could actually benefit from this work, not just uh, developers. So the two smart contracts will remain general purpose and we will keep maintaining them. Uh, so we will also keep maintaining the Drips landing page and application. Uh, we will also keep maintaining the Drips SDK and subgraphs. And then we will start developing new funding experiences, uh, front ends within Aptos, Radical, XYZ, and anything else that is needed to support them. Uh, finally, uh, there has been a bunch of conversations around work streams. Um, so, Jason, do you want to say a few words actually about that? Uh, yeah, sure. Um, I mean, essentially, with work streams, like, uh, I mean, I can actually I have some slides if you don't mind me sharing them real quick. I can go through them really quickly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, one second. Let's see if I have the same problem. No. Nope. Can you see my screen? I assume yes. Yep. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going to go through this real quick. So essentially, like with work streams, um, like we kind of like it kind of sits in these two problem spaces. So uh, the first thing is sourcing of applications. The other thing is managing streams, right? And um, in talking to a bunch of DAOs and other people, like in my own network, um, we kind of found out that people are relatively hesitant to change their workflow. Sorry, are you still there? Yep. Hello? Can you hear us? Yes. Yes, yes. Can, hear you. can we last time? Mm. Looks like he froze. No, they changed the. It's like a phone sticking out of your menu bar now. You haven't seen macOS in so long. In like forever. <laughs> <is>, yeah. <laughs> okay, well, it seems like we lost him. So maybe LA, you want to keep going until he comes back on? Yeah. Uh, so effectively, what I think that Jason wanted to say is that. First of all, the workstream team will be joining the new radical funding team. And then in terms of the focus, the thing that they discovered the last, the last month was that there were effectively two sides to what they were doing. The one side is sourcing applications for grants and helping with all of that process. And what Jason was saying is that they discovered from, they spoke to, I think, Polygon and, and some other bigger teams. And they discovered actually like, most of these things don't want to change their workflow. Uh, so there's that, um, and you know, some of those teams doing crazy stuff there, which seems that we don't want to be focusing on like using Salesforce to manage like some of those, you know, uh, some of those grant applicants and crazy things like that. So there's that, which is very, very complex, and it's not something that we we are interested in, in doing. But then the second side of things actually is, is um, managing the payment process. Um, and effectively, what you see with a lot of grants is, is certain payment flows, like, for instance, some payment up front, then some streaming involved over you know, certain uh, milestones or certain uh, time frame, and then usually like also some carrot in the end that if you finally complete the whole thing, then you also get some, some, some extra money in the end, right? Uh, so, so, so what Jason wants to say is that uh, the, last, the last month and a half, he had decided to actually uh, spend a lot more time focusing on the payment side of things, which is you know putting together this uh, you know like uh, 
like payment payment mode it's almost like okay, you're gonna do a one time give and then you're gonna stream and then you're gonna do a one time give in the end still uh, uh still using still using the troops protocol uh Jason, you, you're here yeah hey sorry my connection died i'm on my phone now but sounds like you cool. already I, 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 I gave them the uh, the application sourcing versus payment, and I explained basically why payment is exciting. But it would be good for them to hear more more you. Yeah. yeah, cool. I mean, okay, I guess I can't show my slides now, but yeah, I mean, essentially that's pretty much it. So, uh, like with work streams, like what we're planning to do now is to uh, essentially focus on the kind of stream management slash payment side of things, and uh, pretty much remove the application aspect of it, just because. There's already so many great tools in the space, and we can't really compete with them, you know, given that they have huge teams and a lot of resources on them. And Radical is not really kind of set up uh, right to compete in this space. It doesn't make any sense for us. Um, but obviously, like managing streams is um, interesting. It's also an important part of the Drips ecosystem, where right now there's actually not any kind of generic way to just set up a stream that's kind of missing. And we think that work streams can kind of potentially fill that gap. So. Essentially, what I'm going to be doing with board streams in the next weeks um, is to take away the ability to source applications uh, and just make it a direct assignment thing. So like the whole discovery thing is going to be out of it, um, and it's going to be a much more streamlined application to just set up you know, generic kind of money streams for whatever reason uh, to people. And with that, you know, actually unlocks more use cases than before. Um, for example, streaming salaries or just like a generic kind of cash flow building block that you can use within a DAO. Um, so I'm just going to be doing that basically, and also like decentralizing the backend properly, um, and then after that, you know, joining the funding team and helping with the uh, greater effort towards funding open source software. So, yeah, that's the plan. Yeah, and and to add one to do that, we have there. We're also considering potentially consolidating this. We have the drips up today, which is you know very like simple and then there's the work stream up work streams up and right now we uh, have an exercise in progress where we effectively compare user stories what we're trying to accomplish with each of those apps and try to see if we can land in a scenario where there's only one app that satisfies most of our needs so we don't have two things to maintain there uh and, and effectively that's the whole package so we will be maintaining we will be maintaining trip smart contracts trips landing page and application, potentially one application with Drips or work streams, Drips SDK and subgraphs, and then anything else new thing that we develop for up to that called XYZ. Um, important to say, we, you know, the rhythms, the team rhythms will continue to be the same. So we're meeting every Tuesday at four. Uh, the call is always open. Some contributors show up, you know, here and there. So you're welcome to join. Uh, if you especially want to hear, you know, in this new setup, you know, what, what direction we'll, we'll be taking. Uh, who's involved? Myself, uh, Andrew, uh, Yanis, Igor, Jason, Everett, uh, and Manuel. Manuel ca currently being being uh, being out for a bit, and then also from the girls' side, we've been working a lot more closely with Luke. Um, last but not least, what you can expect from us. Um, so right now, like in. Also discussing the future of the trips and work streams up. There's the current idea of potentially unifying those two. Uh, and then finally, we'll uh, share an updated strategy and, ob and objectives post for this newly formed team and you know, then start following the health check and all of these different things um, one month from now um, moving forward. Um, yeah, and, and, and that's all I have. Um, so any, any questions any, or, or anything I forgot from the team as always? Ellie, maybe just a, one quick question. At, at some point, there had been some discussion of connecting the um, the Drips app or the funding app, you know, work streams, whatever the the merged app ends up being for funding with the um, with the regular Radical Code Collab web app. Um, is there any update? And maybe Cloudhead, you could speak to this as well. But any any update on the thinking there is that um, sort of the long term, like still a long term goal. Yeah. So so. So it's, it's a good question. We haven't done any thinking to be fully transparent, but I'll give you my personal opinion. And then, Alexi, you could, it would be nice if you do the same. So my, my approach, my preferred approach with what we will do within the Radical app, I, I would like to start from, ex, from an experience standpoint. I would like to basically start from like, okay, you know, both developers and 
projects want to do X and then go backwards rather than actually try to merge these two worlds for now uh, because I think that might be confusing and also unnecessary for the time being. Um, yeah. In in the future, who knows if, if this is something that we feel that we want to, you know, somehow source through one up. Let's discuss it. But for now, we'll start more like simpler user experiences of what we want to develop, try to deliver on that using the building blocks we have and then see, you know, where that takes us. Yeah, yeah, I think that makes sense. I, I think it's it's also important for the the web app to be a good tool um, for developers, and so when they're using the you know like project browsing or issues or PRs and all, all those kind of things like that, that stuff should be should get out of the way and, and let you do what you're trying to do. Um, even though we'll also have a CLI and stuff, but um, um, you know, we don't want to make it too. Like for a lot of people, like funding related things are, are not too important, or they're they're not looking to do that. So um, we don't want to um, distract users. Um, so it's just I think there's going to be a balance between the the funding related stuff and the code collab stuff. And um, yeah, we, we don't we don't want either to, to sort of get in the way of the other. But um, we'll have to figure out uh, how to do that. Okay, thanks. Yeah, that totally makes sense. Just just curious what you guys are thinking there. And um and yeah, I, I could see how like maybe the apps could share different like certain common components, like like some parts of identity or something like that. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Lots of flavors yeah, of how this could everything. Work. Yeah, if, if things are cross-linked properly and and even under the same domain and everything, um, then then I, I think we can have the user experience we want um without necessarily annoying people who don't care about funding or without yeah. Yeah. And, and maybe one more thing now that most contributors are on the call. Uh, another thing that uh, we're we'll totally doing in the next in the next few days um, is try to get the engineers that are working on on Apple XYZ and and the application engineers from the Drips team like together to talk a bit about process. I Meaning process. I mean nothing scary, but like how do we plan to work together? Specifically, what we just discussed. Like what are we sharing? Are we sharing in the main and you know, visual identity, and that's it, or are we sharing something more, and how does that work? Uh, so just that's an open call. Like, I will try to schedule, I will schedule something um, for the next few days so we can discuss some of those things. That's the first time, really, where these two teams will, you know, start working a little bit more closely, I guess. Yeah, I think that was going to be my question, which is what what should everybody expect from the clients team and the uh, newly formed radical funding team over the next week? Um, or will there be more posts that kind of describe objectives and kind of more of an approach? Uh, will it be kind of like talked about in the next community call? What's your guys thinking on timeline for kind of uh, diving more into like the details of what these teams are going to be working on? I, I personally think that we can um, actually um, deliver on um, um, on the, the the MVP idea we have objectives and strategy in the next by the end of next week. That's my feeling. Might be aggressive. Definitely by the next community call, we will have that for everyone to be able to to review that, and we will present that in the next community call. But I think that we can probably move faster than that. Uh, so yeah, next two weeks. Great. And should I be updating Discord roles and the profiles on the Radical Contributor Hub as well? Yes. So, so what we discussed that we would like to do with Discord is the following. So we would like to keep the Drips channel uh, basically and the Drips dev um, around, specifically to talk about the Drips protocol, uh, the protocol side of thing. And then, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, but we said let's rename Workstreams into funding and make that the place where we actually start talking about application. Uh, related stuff. Um, Andrea and Jason, if this is incorrect. Okay, I remember correctly. Uh, so so, so there's that renaming in place. And then in terms of roles, yes, I would say radical funding with all these different individuals uh, being the team. Cool. Just uh, write down the changes in a couple bullet points and shoot them over to me and I can help make that happen. Sounds good. Any other questions for LA, Alexi, or Vinton? on these org changes before we wrap up? Um, a little note I just posted on the, the forum. So under our community update for August, the second post is kind of a longer form 
on some of the considerations around the merge and stuff like that. Not the merge, but the, the team merge. Um, and it's also on the now clients channel on Discord if you want to check it out. Awesome. Thanks for that. Um, well, if there's no other questions, that was a very, that was a lot. That was a lot to take in and we're already at the hour. So um, exciting to see these changes happening and starting to kind of get them all community uh, communicated across our channels. So thanks everybody for taking the time uh, to prep for this call today. Um, and we will see everybody on Discord and at next month's call. Cool. Thanks everybody. Thanks, Have everyone. a good week. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. Ciao. Bye.